check the bass with the kick. Because we have to get that right in the first place. Can add a little bit of low end. Make it a little bit darker. Just wanted the A, the bottom end in there. Now let's, in the software, let's add another track, so duplicate that one and copy the whole bass track and let's get that out on the second bass track, which is output 12 in this case, and I have here the bass amp um, and I insert it on this track in the rack on my left, I insert it this unit, it's the power plant that you may have seen in my other video. And it's basically a guitar amplifier and I use that to um, dirten up the bass tracks because it might fit a little bit better in the mix after all. So let's see, let's go to the bass. Get the kick out there. So that would be clean. With the dirt, um, let's add a little bit more distortion, maybe. More harmonics on the lens. And with that one, I just want a little bit more mid range. We combine that with the other bass track. Let's bring that a little bit back. So this is just the DI. Gets just a little fuller without it. And with, let's see with the kick. Just leave it for now, maybe a little bit too loud, but once we add the other instruments, like the acoustic guitars now. But before we go to the acoustic guitars, actually let's add a little bit of compression to the bass. And um, on the bass I have the DBX160. Acoustic guitars. Mm -hmm. 